So hi guys, last video we see how to design a custom combo box in QML. In this video we will see how to customize the switch uh, in QML and uh, after that how to use uh, with different different and styles or colors. Let's see. Uh, so first uh, things we need to create uh, one file. Uh, call it like and select qt and qt QML file and here i'm using the custom custom search okay custom search so this is our created the file uh, custom search uh, so what we need to do here uh, we need to import some uh, header files here like control so i am using the control and the layout here and import our style app style one control okay so i'm using this as a switch okay so this is the switch so this thing we need to do here uh, we need to um, uh, customize the background and the indicator okay so control uh, the name of that so first thing we need to the important part is the indicator and the in uh, the switch the important part is the uh, indicator so here i am using the rectangle to modify this and the uh, second thing we need to implement uh, the implicit height and width so i implement the 56 and implicit uh, width width is like uh, 56 and height is 32 okay so this is the uh, implicit width and height of that indicator and x should be uh, control dot uh, left padding okay and y should be parent dot height dot height divided by 2 minus k height divided by 2 okay so radius we apply here sort of radius radius is the bit divided by 2 and the color of this uh, we use control dot check first we check here the, if it check it then color should be a style dot app style okay else app style dot uh, pop up background background pop up background and second thing we need to apply some border here border dot uh, width is control dot checked if control dot check then we apply two and apply one border dot color we need to also apply here border dot color if control dot checked checked then we need to apply here app style and dot app style as we apply here app dot border color app style dot border color style dot border color border color okay dot c so this is i am using from the hair the color uh, we are using the border color pop up background and app style so we predefined that color here so i am using that color the second thing so we designed the background of this uh, indicator now we need to uh, implement uh, the circle uh, which is the movable or call it the handler of this so just i am using the different rectangle here so just rectangle and with it height uh, so text should be uh, no uh, sorry x should be controlled or checked control dot check if control dot check then or the width parent dot width minus k width okay itself uh, width and minus k2 okay and this is the two else and the width should be uh, what 28 height should be a 28 radius should be divided by 2 I divided by 2 and uh, color should be if checked control dot checked 
then write okay else we apply some sort of color code here 7 a 8 5 and 9 b okay so we apply here the color and uh, the position we apply the anchor anchor should be the vertical center and parent dot vertical center okay so we apply here the color so we design it the indicator that and now uh, what we need to design here we need to design the content uh, item where we provide the label of um, this content item so content item and we provide label here now inside the label we need to put the text this text should be the control dot text okay because of uh, like uh, i am uh, using the property of the controls and customizing this content item so we need to uh, uh, add the text of the control dot text okay so, and we need to apply some font font dot pixel size should be the font style and s3 we use here and vertical alignment okay text dot align vertical center okay and the left padding i apply some left padding now much this is the control uh, dot uh, indicator dot width plus uh, control dot spacing control dot spacing so this is i uh, have designed the control here so let's check how this will look like in the man.cpp man.qml file so we need to add here just so i'm opening this man.file and now i'm putting here the some label sort of uh, like column layout column layout here we provide in the spacing the spacing should be 200 and uh, anchor dot centering in parent and let, let's check here and provide some row layout and spacing should be 200 and uh, what we need to do here we provide the switch custom switch custom switch custom switch custom switch and the name should be we put here the label okay or the switch switch okay and here i am checking the checked enable enable false okay enable true check true okay so we made it this let's one more add we one more add and check never false check the true enable false check the false okay so let's run this and see how it will behave and after that we also customize uh, some colors yeah look this this is the uh, disable and this is uh, not enable this is also the disable and we can operate this look we can also uh, like apply some sort of uh, uh, animation here and uh, the number animation so it move smoothly from uh, this to there so uh, where the moving edge the control x to here to here okay so we'll uh, ch uh, check it uh, next lecture we will see so where you need to change the color of this control so this is run the control and the color of this and the white and every style color is this so actually we are putting the this is the white color and this is and the check color so if you are changing the color like this one the color okay so here uh, we need to change the f style color okay and we don't uh, uh, need to change this uh, border color of this okay so i'm just putting the f style color so here i'm putting the uh, control color 
ओके सो बैकग्राउंड कलर ओके द प्रॉपर्टी इज कलर हियर मैं हियर आई एम पुटिंग द बैकग्राउंड कलर बैकग्राउंड कलर बैकग्राउंड कलर एंड हियर आई एम पुटिंग जस्ट द पैपस्टाइल डिफॉल्ट एंड कंट्रोल डॉट बैकग्राउंड कलर हियर आई एम पुटिंग द कंट्रोल डॉट बैकग्राउंड कलर कंट्रोल डॉट बैकग्राउंड कलर ओके दिस वन and uh, after that we apply this uh, control dot background different different so let's uh, add one more layer here and i'm applying here the different different uh, background color background color different different style so what i'm applying here this is the primary color okay so i'm applying the primary color this is one okay and also apply here and here let's check this uh, warning color okay so i'm adding here and let's apply this uh, success color so apply here okay let's add one more uh, more color here so it looks pretty okay so i'm adding the color in here warning okay this is the warning color i want to add here and the dark color i want to add okay so dark color i added here and one more color we also add in the danger color okay let's move this line okay now let's run and see how it will look like okay now this will looks uh, good not not looks good because the navel in navel is false so we apply the border color so we apply the wrong color okay here uh, we need to also apply the background color app style app style also here and and uh, we uh, move it this remove this both check the true okay and i will false and i will false and i will false and the default is enable okay so we need to enable this all this okay so let's run and see the changes it looks good we change the different different style here okay we can use this so just uh, i'm removing the spacing is 100 and 150 okay or 100 okay so this one this spacing also to, and changing the level of this as a white because i'm not putting here the level uh, color so i'm putting the color as a white okay so let's see yeah now that looks good oh so in this video that's all in next lecture we see how to customize the slider okay so thank you guys